Good evening and welcome to Let's Play The Walking Dead. I've never played this game before. This is a blind playthrough, but I'm pretty excited about this because I've heard these Telltale games tend to be extremely story-driven, so let's jump right in. Okay. Oh, we can just play standard. That's fine. A new day. Let's go for it. Okay, adapts to choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Fantastic. Sounds like my kind of game. I'm not going to hit any buttons because I don't want to accidentally possibly skip this intro. So we'll just let it unfold in its own right. I do like this art style. Pretty cool. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, sure. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time? Every time. Well, let's look around. Okay, what's in the rear view? I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Oh, we're down in Georgia, huh? Well, what do you think? What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. What happened? I guess I'm assuming we're in Georgia. I know there's a I making in Georgia. I got UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? Yeah, Athens. That's Georgia, right? You want to know how I see it? Uh, sure. Sure. Well, how do you see it? Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Well, could be I did. <laughs> Riot in progress. All officers are available for incoming 217. Rolling calls and dispatches to all locations. Uh, what's wrong with his wife? Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. That's nice. Hopefully you clean things out good afterwards. Then before long, he starts just kicking here? the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Well, did he do it? So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Sounds stabbing like. his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. 
It oh, goes to thanks show. for sharing that. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. Let's this hear it. a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious, if I do say so. This other time... Oh, shit! Oh, man. Well. Oh, that looks suspiciously like shambling. I think we got some zombies around here. Uh, wake up, buddy. You gotta get him moving. No good. Well, that's even worse. All right, what do we got here? Hey, hey, officer, are you all right? No, he's not all right. Look at him. Back here. <laughs> well, let's kick the window again. I get it a couple times. I need to drag myself out that window. All right. Let's just make sure there's nothing else in the car here. Look at our handcuffs. I don't think it's going to tell us much. Damn it. I think we got to get to that body and hope he's got a key on him. All right. Out you go. Okay. Use the hand. Careful of that glass. <laughs> All right, let's shuffle around the car, and be careful. I think there's a little hill here. Don't hurt yourself. Just nice and easy does it. There you go. Oh, is that the gun? Now pick up the gun. Yeah, get that. This is a good idea. Well, kind of. I mean, we need a weapon, but we know zombies are drawn to sound. This thing's going to be loud. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. I suppose so. Anything else to look at? And I guess it's all about this fella. Officer? No, he's look at his neck. He's done. Well, I guess his neck's not as bad. I thought it was twisted a little more than that, but still I he's not looking good. Let's get those keys. Yeah, I'm like the cuffs. Shit. Really? Oh, if he's if he's zombie, he's gonna come right out and bite us. Move quick here, guy. Alright. Unlock those handcuffs. Do it careful now. There you go. Yeah, that side too. Officer. Uh oh. <gasps> Holy shit! Kick him or something. Um, I don't think we need to look what at him. What the hell? Get away from me! Quick, quick! Get that shell! Get that shell! Now the gun, man! Come on! Oh, great. We'll beat him with the gun, then. You know, whatever you gotta do. Or we can try and load it up. Don't make me do this! Now we gotta do it. In the head. Can't reason with zombies. Man. Don't throw that gun down. We might need that again. 
like shit. What the hell is this? What is that? Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! What is that? I hear a little noise. Oh, you gotta get up and get moving, guy. Grab the gun. Even if there's no more bullets, you can use it as a bludgeoning weapon. We're shambling at the same speed they are. Alright. Can we pause? I guess you gotta hope there's no more of them waiting for you on the <clears throat> other side. Gunshots, eh? Well, good. That's a nice distraction. We can check that out. I am noticing um, it seemed like it slowed down a little bit during some of that, so I should probably bump the graphics down a little bit. But we'll see if we can wait it out to the end of the episode and I'll do that off screen. Some bourbon if I could. <laughs> could use a little bourbon right now, eh? No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Help! There's the starts of a ladder. But, yeah. Anybody up there? Well, if they are, they're not answering us. Okay, let's keep moving along. I think we're probably going to have to check out that door. Can we sidle around the edge here? No, he's not moving forward. Okay. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! Uh, dude, you gotta quiet down. You're gonna bring everything right back to you. All those zombies, drawn away by the gunshots. Think these things through. Okay, can't get around that. Oh, oh, let's look at the pool cover. We'll just go for a dip. Yeah, it's a great idea. Is there anybody here? Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Probably. Let's I take a look. I wonder if anybody's home. That wasn't that exciting. Let's just get in there. Home. I need a little help. Try the door, see if it's locked. Yeah, there you go. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Did he close the door behind? Okay, good. Ah, shit. Hello? I'm not an intruder. One of them. Well, that's a lot of blood on the wall. These people might need more help than I do. Yeah, this might not be the best place to be. A unicorn. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Oh. oh. 
Ow! Oh, that's gruesome. I wasn't expecting I thought he'd just walk through it all right. Ugh. All right, what do we got here? A cup of water? Yeah, he did say he was thirsty. Go for it. Any more? Nope, that's it. Yeah, sure. What's in this drawer? Um, I want to look at what's in that. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. What's that beeping? Yeah, I was kind of wondering that too. What are these boxes? Oh, I will suppose we'll open every cupboard and drawer. There are three oh, hey! New messages. Pick that thing up. Can't reach those ones. Those are always the worst, the over the fridge cupboards. I have to get a chair to reach mine. Hmm. The Marsh House. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Hmm. So is that little girl that we saw all on her own then? Okay, how do we pick that thing up? So it stops beeping. Beeping's gonna get us killed too. Oh, I bet it's this actual answering machine. Three new messages. Well, let's hear them. Message one, left at 5:43 p.m. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at Oh, he got bit by a zombie, yeah. didn't he? Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Oof, well. Daddy? Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Yeah. Uh, sure. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. I don't know that they're coming home, kiddo. It wasn't sounding very likely. Uh, what's your name? What's this must be name? Clementine. I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Uh, how old are you? How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? Well, we heard the messages. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? So, where are you? Where are you? I'm tree outside house. in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Uh oh. Oh, 
do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I'm hitting A. Okay. Oh, on the blood. Oh! On the blood again. Kick it! This is just not his day. Dude, you gotta fight better than this. What? What? Oh! Good thinking, kid. Get it. In the head. In the head. In the head. There you go. One more to be safe. Is it done? I think it's done. Well. That was an experience. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? Yeah, it's dead. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, she was a monster. Uh, I think so, too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. Well, Clementine's gonna remember that, eh? Hmm. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We'll probably go somewhere else. Um. Uh, well, we could wait till the sun goes. Well, what difference is sun going down really gonna make? Cause the zombies are attacking by sound, maybe smell. I don't know. Um, I think dark is just gonna inhibit us more than them. So let's look for help before it gets dark. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. We're done in the house? Man, I should have gone the other direction first. Alright, I guess that is it for the house. Don't run, kid. I'm injured. I'm moving slow. Alright, I'm assuming... We're gonna go up by that front gate. We probably don't need to try to check out her tree house. Ah, uh, just in case. But I don't think there's gonna be anything there. Yep, that's a tree house, all right. All we got is the look at option. Yeah, there was no point in shambling back over there. Okay, out the front gate. Oh, well, it was worth a look. You never know where any hidden anything is going to be. Got to be thorough, right? Oh, well, there's some guys. Oh, man. I know Howdy, gentlemen. Mama this, right. this sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Well, let's go talk to him. You fellas look like you could use some help. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Um, I won't leave I you won't alone. I leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. These guys haven't heard us? Or that creaky gate? Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! <laughs> we're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Uh, we're looking for help. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Well, Those yeah. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. 
How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. That sounds I'm like a plan. A dad. Um. Well, a neighbor. neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. All right, so he's going to remember that we do? said a neighbor, huh? Maybe I should have said I... a babysitter. The monster's coming. We gotta go. I don't want to say I'm just some guy, or they might decide I'm like a creeper or something. Okay, let's push this thing. Wounded leg and all. You don't got time to let injuries slow you down in a situation like this. Yeah, keep pushing. Um, where is it we're trying to push that to? Oh, let's see. Were any of those guys neighbors too? Yeah, he doesn't believe us. I should have said I was a babysitter. Although, I don't know. I, I think he would have been suspicious of that, too. Well, the farm's got to be better than in a city. Oh, there's all the fences. That's something, I guess. Oh, and we even got a gate in front of the house. Fantastic. Yeah, this looks like a pretty nice setup. I mean, hey, the gate's Sean, not going to keep them out if they come in this, but still. My mama's going to be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. And we're going to go ahead and stop here. I'm going to wind the episode down. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Come back next time. We'll continue the adventure. See if we're safe on the farm. I have a feeling we will not be. We'll see what happens with this whole babysitter neighbor situation. I think I might have made the wrong choice there. <laughs>